Fish is a good source of low-fat, high-quality protein. And in Guyana, like other agriculture subsectors, government is placing major emphasis on improving its production to meet the demand of local and regional markets. Guyana's overall fish production in 2021 increased by more than 10% when compared to 2020. Its fisheries exports also surpassed $4 billion. Bolstering this subsector, government successfully defended approximately $750 million in the 2022 national budget to support fisheries and aquaculture. Of that sum, $200 million is dedicated to introducing and developing cage culture. In September, following this announcement, the cages arrived in Guyana and were ready for the trials to begin. This initiative will increase production of seafood, producing up to 11 metric tons of fish every nine months. Guyana is now one step closer to boosting its aquaculture sector with the commencement of its Cage Culture Initiative, which was launched in Region 2 last October. Fish cage is a system set up in lakes, reservoirs, or ponds to confine fishes. It allows water to pass freely between the fish and the surrounding water resource, thus maintaining good water quality and removing waste. According to Business Queensland, fish cage aquaculture is one of the most profitable and successful agriculture systems with major economic benefits. The villages in Region 2 identified for the Cage Culture Initiative are Mainstay and Kapui, villages with large freshwater catchment areas and ideal for the rearing of the three species of fish identified for the trial. Tambaki, Mullet and Tilapia. This project will be owned by the community. And once we do this project right, because we're targeting Tambaki, once we do this project right, we can realize annual revenue of between six to eight million dollars. Yeah, revenue, profit, surplus. That is what we can bring to the revenue of this community. And this project, we expect the cages to be in Guyana in what? Another eight weeks? Another eight to 12 weeks, the cages will be here. And Mainstay and Kapui are two of the first communities that we are going with the pilot project. The two shows of Mainstay Waiaka and Kapui, Yvonne Pearson and Ralph Hendricks, both agreed on the economic enhancement their villages will receive from cage culture. From the initial stage when the president came, um, he had promised us that he can do some fish culture for us and um, it was accept accepted by the community. Likewise, a chicken project also, both are promised and both has been fulfilled so far because we have you can see outside the three cages, we can have a boost right there. Right there, we make, come you start making money, plus you're selling villagers, plus you're selling uh, quite some people on the road, on the coast we want, uh, the, um, the market also. So you see, it will benefit us. Things will go well as a matter of fact. I'm not hoping that we'll have more cages so that we can um, increase in a couple of years' time. The Cage Culture Initiative has a direct impact on young people in the village as it generates employment. This day home most time, not really, that's the home. No, the job to get for gold. If you shared something, to buy food for me. With the $200 million being invested in this technology by government, it will guarantee fisher folk close to $8 million annually. The Cage Culture project will be rolled out in two phases. First, the installation of cages to rear the fish, and second, the construction of a hatchery and feed facility to support the further development. It is expected to enhance fish production by over 100,000 kilograms of fish per annum. This direct intervention will ensure thousands of farmers and households have a source of food and income in the face of the global phenomenon of low catches. When we had um, passed last year's budget, or sorry, this year's budget, there were a number of interventions that we have made in terms of various sectors. So that the intervention that we have made were to ensure that we continue to have increased production in these sectors. One of the sectors was the fishing sector. You know for a fact that with over time climate change and all that have occurred, we have seen low catches with these marine fisher folks. And as a result of that with representation, we have, we have been looking at ways how we can how we can um, help the fisher folks around the country. And then we came up with the marine cage. The marine cage is nothing new. Those are, it's new for this part of the world, 
for places like Asia and so they, those cages have been using for a long long time there and that have been used to supplement the income of fishermen around the world because sometimes when you have marine fishing declining or, or you're having low catches the fishermen and authorities in those countries use the marine cage to supplement the fishermen income The government has also invested in the training of persons who will become experts in cage culture. This in turn will create a chain effect of other persons being trained across the country. At the end of this, I will have close to about 15 persons who will be trained from the Ministry of Agriculture and also from areas across the country. And then they will share their knowledge with other Guyanese so that we can have the knowledge being replicated around the country. The minister also noted that the initiative can attract investors who will aid in the expansion of the sector. First of all, people will want to see the outcome. And as a government, we are taking the risk first to, see, um, to, to pilot this project. Um, as I said, that the, the, the outlook is good, the potential is there. One cage can give you more. Um, this, this is a low side of the figure I'm talking about, be, um, between 8 to $10 million annually. But it has potential to give you more. So if an investor comes into Guyana, and Guyana have a lot of waterways, free waterways where you could put these cages, they can come to Guyana and they can set up a number of cages around the country in different parts of the country. And that will help to supplement. And this you now have to put major investment. The investment that are needed is the cage, and then you got the fish and you feed it, you feed the fish. What we are looking at also, and you know Guyana is looking now to reduce cost of production, to ensure that we reduce the food import bill wholly. Um, so we are looking at in another three years from now where Guyana will be self-sufficient in terms of producing its own feed for the livestock industry. That will be a boost for the cage culture because for the fish feed, we'll have it right there producing Guyana. It will be cheaper and things like that. So I see the potential of increasing and more investment coming into this sector in another two to three years um, will be tremendous. And I see that there will be large investment as long as the, um, the, the, the pilot project is successful. I am very optimistic that it will be successful.